it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video. And today we are back on Dad's Farm V2 doing some more planting. We are still hard at the soybeans here. As you can see, we're not running the John Deere 8220 anymore. Uh, the reason for that is it would not pull this planter on field 12. Uh, that you see right there. It would not pull it. I had to go sideways rather than up and down and even then it still would not pull it So I sold that and bought this New Holland T9450 Realtree quad track uh, So yeah, we're rolling right along with the planting. We got fields 9 through 14 done um, Our spreader here is ready to go Putting down some more PK, and he's being very, very stupid again. Always love when Course Play wants to be dumb. There we go. We'll get him going. The sprayer is also done. Um, so what I have done, I went through and deleted every single Course Play course except for the transfer courses, and made all new courses. Um, so we don't have to delete anymore. We don't have to make anymore. We are good to go So we're gonna park this guy here And we'll shut him off um, Before we get back into planting we need to run and fill up our tender trailer So yeah, uh, off camera I finished, um, or no, let's see, yeah I planted fields 12, 13, and 14, uh, that's where we left off, uh, our seed tender is just kind of sitting in the middle of the road, but we'll just go around him. So yeah, um, now in this episode, we will be working on field 11. So yeah, um, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do, but Thursday, I'm not sure if you guys are going to have a video on time or not, um, because Wednesday night... I'm going to be going to our farm, and so I'm going to get some real life footage for you guys. Um, I'm not sure how much haying we'll be doing because um, I'm probably going to be helping my dad get his tractor running. Uh, his, he has a John Deere 4430, and um, the last time he was up there two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, um, he couldn't get it to start and so he had to buy some parts he bought some parts then and it still wouldn't start and he bought some more parts just recently um, and now he's gonna see if uh, he can get it running and I'm most likely gonna help him with that and then he also wants to swap headers on his swather and do some other stuff uh, he's got a John Deere 2420 swather and he's got two headers for it and he wants to switch headers and stuff like that it's not sure uh, what all we'll be doing when I'm up there but uh, I will definitely be getting some footage for you guys um, so yeah so I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload a farm sim video Thursday for the normal schedule and upload a and then like do farming on Friday and Saturday I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, <clears throat> what I might do is just record video and then put it into my Dropbox and then put that video on my computer and edit it on my computer and upload it that way. Um, I'm not positive on that, but yeah, so 
If you guys don't have a video up on Thursday at 4, um, there will be a video up later that night of me, you know, while I'm at the farm. Uh, and then I might just make three videos. Uh, if I don't, okay, let me stop here for a second. If I don't make a video for Thursday, what I will do is I will make three videos at the farm. Uh, I'll do one for Thursday, one for Friday, and also one for Saturday. Uh, I'm coming back on Friday because that's when my dad comes back. Because um, my dad is off Thursday, Friday, so he's leaving after work on Wednesday. And... Um, So he's going to pick me up on his way out of town. And then, uh, <clears throat> uh, and then he's coming back later Friday. So I'll try and get three videos. Uh, if I don't do a farm sim on uh, Thursday, but uh, if I do a farm sim on Thursday, I'll either upload another video on Thursday for you guys or else I will do, um, just Friday and Saturday and maybe even do it Sunday so I'll record three videos regardless that's my goal uh, is get three so we'll see what happens with that um, yeah so like I said I don't know what we're gonna be doing uh, the videos are just gonna be with my phone because I don't have anything else that I can record with um, my camera that I have is complete garbage um, it doesn't it records for five seconds with a brand new battery and then says battery exhausted and won't let me do anything else so yeah can't do anything there um, and I don't have a GoPro I would love to have one but I don't have one yet uh, eventually I'll buy one uh, that'll be my goal for next next season uh, is get a GoPro uh, for haying next year. Uh, yeah, so I don't have anything else I can record with, so I'm just gonna have to use my phone, uh, which isn't all that terrible, but it definitely isn't the greatest, uh, recording quality. But, uh, it'll work, I guess. Yeah, we will just uh, keep a plant in the way here at this field. We're going to flip our course 90 degrees here. We should lift our planter. Alright, we're going to slide this over a little bit. Just like that. Shut the planter off until we get all lined up. Alright. So now we'll do this little strip here and then do our headland up here. And because we'll need to do a headland around those trees there. Uh, so I've been looking around at our soil nutrients and we're looking pretty good uh, we might need to do a shot of NPK later on uh, before harvest uh, we'll see not entirely sure um, but we're looking pretty good in most of our fields right now uh, there's a couple fields that are a little questionable so we'll have to find out uh, what happens with those uh, so yeah had an awesome time at camp as always. Um, it was a lot of fun, but uh, every year, come the last day, you're always you're ready to go home, but you're not. Um, that was definitely me again this year. You are ready to go home. You're ready to go back to your own room, your own bed, because uh, beds there definitely ain't that great. Um, and you're ready to go back to 
you know, just being at home again, and uh, you know, definitely don't miss the food. Um, well, your home food, I should say. Uh, they had really awesome cooks again this year. Uh, not as good as the ones that they had last year, but definitely were good. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. And uh, definitely glad to be back, though. Uh, so, yeah, I'm glad that I was able to get uh, videos out for you guys before I left. Um, that was a huge relief to me because uh, I didn't really want to just leave the channel completely dead for the entire week. That's not what I wanted. Um,. But I knew that if it came down to that, you guys would uh, understand. But I would have much rather uh, upload something, and I managed to do that. I uh, managed to get three videos recorded in between laundry, and uh, was super thankful for that. Uh, got them all uploaded, and edited and all that good stuff. Start this guy up and get him going again. So we are still putting down herbicide BB and uh, I'll show you guys here in just a second. Top over to this guy and just hop out for a second. So here we have our growing stages to do. Uh, wheat, basically let it grow. Beans, uh, we've got plant, spread PK, spray herbicide BB, and we're working on all three of those right now. Corn, plant, spread PK, and spray herbicide CC. Um, I also made a list of the beef equipment and uh, that I wanna buy and how much it's gonna cost us. Uh, class Jaguar 980 uh, chopper, uh, Jaguar 900 header, uh, the CSZ bale fork with spikes, DPW 150 tandem, uh, that's an auto loading bale trailer. Uh, I know it's not the best way to do it, but it's what uh, what's going to be the easiest. Uh, the white unlimited modding silage trailer, uh, the Ten Kenworth T800 feed truck, and I'll show you guys that in just a second. Uh, the Heston 5580, I'll show you guys that as well because that's very, very cool. Uh, 1972 John Deere 4020 loader tractor, 1973 John Deere 4430, John Deere 956 MoCo used, and Kenworth T600. It's going to cost us $734,980 to buy all of that stuff. Now I'll show you guys um, some of the stuff I was talking about. So this is the trailer, uh, the DP150W tandem, whatever it is. Uh, here's the Heston baler. Uh, it's a very, very nice baler. Uh, very cool. Uh, this is the feed truck. Uh, if you guys haven't already seen this, go to Deets Modding on Facebook. Uh, he just released this for his 1,000 likes. Um, this did get leaked very, very long ago um, when FS2K was around. Uh, they leaked the beta version of this truck, and then he said he wasn't going to do any more releasing, but he decided when he had created a Facebook page not long ago and said once he got to 1,000 likes, he'd do a mod release, and it turned out it was this truck. He said he is going to do more releases in the future as well, uh, which is awesome. Uh, he's He does some very awesome work. Yeah, you can see our N, um, our nitrogen, is pretty, it's right where it should be, um, at 5, and then our PK is at 2, uh, we need that to be up at 4, so, again, spreading more PK, um, PK is really about all that we're needing at the moment, uh, we should put down some lime after harvest as well. Um, I need to figure out, I need to buy, uh, do a 
separate save game and figure out uh, the lime issue, figure out why I can't uh, fill anything with it. Uh, I'm thinking I just need a spreader that's uh, specific to lime or something like that. We'll see. Not sure what the dealio is there. Right, so we're going to go ahead and go right like this. We need to go around the tree. Uh, so yeah, I did a little live stream here yesterday. Uh, did some work on my map. And uh, you guys, there was a lot of you in there. And uh, we had a good stream going on. I uh, added in a scale, a uh, grain probe. Uh, it's supposed to be animated, but I couldn't get it. And uh, talked to uh, one of the... LBJ modding guys, uh, one of the guys that he plays with, uh, that I talk to a lot, and uh, he, I was just kind of asking him, you know, if he knew what uh, what they had to change, because I know when uh, Joe released the grain probe, he said, you know, not long after he released it, he said that uh, he found out that it didn't work, and said he was going to try and figure out why it didn't work, and. Uh, he never, I know he figured it out, but he never went back and uh, put out an updated version or anything like that, uh, or said how he fixed it. Um, I know when I went to go test my map, there was an error uh, regarding the grain probe. I need to go back and uh, test again and just uh, check what that was, what that error was, and see if... Uh, figure out how to fix it and see if that changes it um, and then we got another field added in and uh, did some field calculations of you know figuring out what I need how many more fields I have to make and how many field triggers I have available um, so got all that figured out and then updated the PDA as well uh, got that up to date. So we need to load up field 11's course for the spreader. And we should be starting right there. So we'll just leave this guy right here for the time. And um, let him be. Switch that to herbicide BB and get this guy rolling again. And then we can get back to planting. Um, so I just posted a update on my mod website yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to give it away. You guys have to go find out for yourself what it is, what I'm talking about, all that good stuff. Uh, it's worth a read. Uh, if you're not already a member on my mod site, uh, make sure that you make an account. You don't have to have an account to see the update, but uh, I would suggest that you make an account uh, to see the future stuff that was talked about in that update. Um, I need to go back and add something to that update as well. Uh, I'll do that here a little later when I go to post some other stuff. Um, so yeah, make sure that you guys go check that out. The link to my mod site is down below in the description. Uh, it's also in the description of every video, so make sure that you go check that out. Uh, even this tractor is having a little bit of a hard time pulling this planter, but the uh, 8220 or and the 8370R would have stopped dead already and wouldn't have pulled any farther. So. We're making progress. Alright, lift up our planter and do a second headland here. And then, um... I don't know why, but turning the planter off just makes it go faster. Um, I don't... I don't know why, but, uh, oh well, it makes it go, so I won't, uh, complain any. Just 
Yeah, we're rolling right along with our uh, growth stages and our uh, field work. We're getting stuff done in a hurry, uh, which is good. Um, we're getting closer and closer to harvest, and that's when the fun will start. Uh, being able to auger into the bins and combine and truck and all that good stuff. Uh, we will be mostly driving truck because course play will not be able to fill the grain bins itself so we have to manually do that work uh, which is all right I guess um, usually when I go to my papa's farm in real life uh, the one that I'm making the map of usually when I'm there I'm in the truck the entire time anyways uh, so I'm kind of used to the truck uh, and we missed a little bit there uh, so yeah I'm used to the truck uh, I'll do a, I'll ride around in the combine, ride around in the grain cart, and then sit in the truck the rest of the time. Just how I am uh, when I'm there. Um, now, because you know, before, uh, my one uncle would run the combine, one uncle would be running the uh, grain cart, and then my papa would be in the truck. But uh, then the uncle that ran the green cart he uh, left to go work for a different farm uh, for a seed farm and uh, so my papa now runs the green cart so now I'm between the green cart and the truck um, back and forth in that Yeah, I'm hoping to get down to the farm maybe next week. Um, talk to my papa and see if there's a time where he's going down there. Go down and get some pictures uh, for the map so I can get cranking on that. Um, oh, another thing that I also did on the on my map uh, in the stream was we added in some new grain bins at the elevator. I added the grain bins from Random Sparks' 2,000 subscriber uh, building pack release. Um, you can find it on his Facebook page, uh, Random Sparks Media. Make sure that the, uh, when you have random, it is a zero, not an O. Uh, so make sure that you put that. Uh, and it's capital in random. Everything is capital. And then you have the zero, obviously. And then Sparks is all lowercase. And then the M in media is capitalized. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, so you'll find it on his page. He'll have a media fire link to it. Uh, he has a grain bin pack where there's a... Let's see, I think it's a 1,500 bushel bin, a 1,700 bushel bin, and a 2,000 bushel bin. Or no, a 2,500 bushel bin. Uh, and the 2,500 bushel bin is the one that I put on my map. Uh, he also gave them different logos. So you can have, like, Suck Up, GSI, Sue... Uh, Sue is what I have on my map because that's what the real life elevator has. I looked it up on Google Earth. I found the elevator and looked at the grain bin and they had Sue logos on them. So I chose the Sue logo. Uh, there's also like Twister and I think there's with Steel or We Steel, however you say it. A bunch of different logos that you can choose from. Uh, and then there's also... Um, two sheds a big large red shed uh, which is really really nice everything is a really awesome um, and also a uh, white shed they're both Morton sheds and they're both really awesome uh, and also if you guys are not already subscribed to John Deere modding uh, or like his Facebook page uh, make sure that you do that once he reaches 650 subscribers or 3,000 likes on his Facebook page He's going to do a uh, big building release as well. Uh, he's also letting you choose what kind of building. Uh, you can suggest what kind of building you want. Uh, I said some bins that work with uh, like the Farm King auger that we've got and the Bat Brant auger. Uh, so basically the same as these meridians that we're using. Uh, and then also uh, some, large, some medium to large storage sheds. Uh, that's what I'd like to see. Um... Because for my map, I'd use them for 
uh, you know, the bins, we could use them for, um, you know, like having purchasable, bin purchasable bins elsewhere. Uh, I've thought about doing that where, you know, putting buy map buyable objects in there and then allowing you to buy um, extra grain bins that are, you know, in random places. Um, yeah, so I thought about doing that. Thought that'd be kind of a cool idea. Well, we're drastically slowing down again. This is pretty pretty steady hill here. Uh, hopefully, now we've slowed down to we've slowed our slowing down process. I should say. See, I did uh, when I went through and deleted courses. Um, the game would keep crashing, so what I did is I just opened the course play XML file in Notepad++ and just removed every course and every folder. Well, when I went back and, uh, excuse me, when I'd go back and make a course and save it, excuse me, oh, uh, um, it wouldn't save. It wouldn't save folders, it wouldn't save, uh, courses, nothing. So what I had to go do is I had to go back and uh, find one of the save game backups where it had the original course play XML file with all of our courses and put replace the one that I edited with that one and then just went in game and it took me two tries because it did crash once uh, but I got all the courses deleted and then sat and uh, sat in the 2623 made courses for every field. Uh, the spreader, the sprayer, uh, the roller, and that was all I needed to do. Um, we will need to do the combine, but uh, I'm not going to do that until we're ready for harvest. And then I'll just go through and make, um, you know, make courses for the grain header uh, on all the fields, and then go through and make courses for the corn header on all the fields as well. Uh, just because, you know, in the future, you know, we're going to do rot we're going to be rotating our crops. So no crop is going to be in the same field twice, uh, you know, in in a row I should say. You know, obviously our crops will be in these fields again. Uh, you know, in three seasons we'll be planting soybeans in this field again. Um, but yeah, so just make all the courses for the combine right away, and then we'll make uh, grain cart courses as we go. Uh, because obviously you can't make those right away uh, all at once. Uh, you, I suppose you could, but you'd have to run over crops, and we don't want to do that. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> so when we uh, harvest our wheat, we will be dropping the straw, so that way we can bale it and then uh, haul our bales. I uh, haven't decided where we're going to stack the bales. Probably in the big feed shed. Uh, we'll have to get... Whatever little amount of uh, stuff that's in there, we'll have to get that out. And then uh, we'll be able to make our own mixed rations uh, with the Kenworth K800 feed truck. So we won't need uh, any of the stuff that's in there. Uh, we also won't need our mixing plant. Um, oh man, I just realized what I forgot to add to that list. I forgot to add a cattle trailer to that list. Of stuff to buy. Can't believe I did that. I will have to go back and edit that and add that uh, into there, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I'll have to go back in and add that. Um, cattle trailer I'm thinking of. Uh, you guys let me know what cattle trailer we should get. Uh, should we get uh, this, the livestock trailer, the, okay, the American livestock trailer, the USA livestock trailer, the old livestock trailer, or the uh, Wilson cattle trailer. Uh, actually, we're just going to get the Wilson ranch hand. So thirteen four fifty. Thirteen four 
fe plus Oh, there's our timer. Plus seven thirty four nine eighty equals seven forty eight four thirty. Seven forty eight three forty four thirty. Four thirty. There we go. So we'll clear that, turn that off, and do that. So, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Like I said, uh, be on the lookout for a Thursday video if it's not up at four Central Time. Uh, keep an eye out later at night uh, for one of at the farm. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna get this guy refilled and keep on planting uh in the next episode we'll be working on the last of the soybeans so i'm gonna get us up to the uh, last of soybeans and uh then that'll be the next episode and then uh then we'll be able to move on to corn and then harvest so thanks for watching you guys uh, if you enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel make sure that you hit the subscribe button uh, if you're subscribed already, or if you're planning to subscribe, make sure that you turn on the post notifications uh, to, be to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Uh, my video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Time, and Saturdays at noon Central. Um, I'm going to be getting back into the live streams regularly uh, next week, uh, hopefully. So be on the lookout for that. And... Um, yeah, uh, make sure that you check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias, uh, my mod website. Make sure that you go check out that uh, update video, uh, post, not video. Uh, make sure that you go check that out uh, to see what's happening. And uh, make sure that you make an account. Uh, if you make an account, uh, be patient. I activate every account manually, so be patient. Your, your account will get activated, don't worry. Uh, it just may take a, you know, maybe a day or something like that till I get to it. Just be patient. Don't sit and bug me. You know, I made an account. I made an account. Activate it now. Blah 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 blah. It'll get activated. Um, so yeah. Uh, make sure that you go check out John Your Modding's channel and uh, see that post uh, that he made about and his Facebook page and see that post. Uh, and also make sure that you check out Random Sparks' map object release. Uh, he's got some awesome objects. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.